Hello everyone, I'm Brad and welcome to another BI Consulting Services video. Today I'll be showing you a couple of the new integrations featured in the March 2023 Power BI update. Let's take a look. So our first feature is something called on object interaction. I'll add a link to some documentation in the description, but this feature essentially allows you to build and format a visual directly on the visual. Now, I'll walk through this in a moment, but you're now able to add fields, change visualization types, and format titles and text without needing the data or format panes. Step number one is enabling this feature in your Power BI instance. And to do that, we'll go to File, Options and Settings, Options, Preview Features, and scroll down to find on object interaction. You go ahead and click the checkbox, then click OK, and you'll be prompted to restart your Power BI. Now to walk through an example, I'll pull some data directly into our canvas here. And we'll start with some sales data that I have. So you'll see clicking on the sales field will populate our canvas with a KPI card. And if I click into this little data button here, I'm presented with a few things. Number one, we have some suggested visual types. So we have our card and our table, which we can easily select in between. But we also have the option to utilize other visuals if we want by clicking this arrow. We also have the ability to add another data field. So for example, why don't I pull in our invoice, invoice date? And you can see that the visual updates or changes depending on the data types that we've selected. So that's kind of nice. Depending on the different fields that you pull in, Power BI will automatically update the visual type that it's presented to you. And of course, we still have the option to select different visuals if we want. Now let's go down here and click on add or remove visual elements. Here we have a handy little menu where we can quickly add in supplemental pieces to our visual. For example, we could add in some data labels and a trend line as well. We can also make other changes to our visual. For example, if I double click into the visual and then right click on our line here, I'm actually able to change the line that we have plotted. I can make some other changes as well. So let's say that I don't necessarily need this year title in our X axis and I don't really need some of sales in our Y axis. So by clicking on this title here, our format pane populates here, so we can still make changes in the format pane over on the side. And I'm just going to turn this title off, and then I'll do the same for our y-axis as well. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is show you how to update your text or titles. So if we come over here to where it says sum of sales by year, this is our chart title, and double click, we can actually update this. So I'm going to change this to just say sales our title and I'll center this. Another addition is this ability to add in a subtitle. So I'm going to create a subtitle and I'll just say this is by year and I'll center that as well. So we have the ability to create a title and now a subtitle in our visual. Our next feature are these handy little apply all slicers and clear all slicers buttons. The apply all slicers function allows us to finish making our selections on multiple slicers before the page data updates. And as you probably guessed, the clear all slicers button clears all of the slicer selections on the page. Now to find these two buttons, you come up to the ribbon, click insert, head over to buttons, click the drop down, and you'll see apply all slicers and clear all slicers. All right, so let's see this at work. We have our line graph here, which is just sales by year. We have a slicer for item description and a slicer for sales rep name. I'm going to choose American beef bologna and let's see what sales look like for these three sales reps. Now you'll notice as I'm making my selections, the visual is not updating yet. When I come down here and click apply all slicers, now you see the visual update. And of course, to clear all my selections, come over to clear all slicers and click and we're back to where we started. All right, that's all for March, 2023. Keep your eyes open for our next video covering the new updates from Power BI. As always, if you have any questions about this content or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from our channel and thank you for watching.